The seventh C is connection. Connection is all about getting along with one another in harmony and peace. Such a workplace teams work together for a long for long periods of time and it is important that there is mutual respect, trust and understanding. This forms the crux for open, honest and transparent communication which leads to effective collaboration, coordination and inspires commitment. Just like the geese cheer one another and keep motivating one another and care for one another in, in times of need, teams must work together and support one another through thick and thin. Empathy, caring and guidance transform the workplace environment. This can be achieved by valuing individuals and their contribution, acknowledging and appreciating milestones and achievements, finding ways to cheer one another, and celebrate in an authentic, spontaneous and unique ways. We talk about this in the module Leadership Lessons too. There is one more aspect to this teamwork and that is uh, creating the required trust amongst everybody in the team. Creating trust by understanding his or her requirements, both personal and professional requirement. Some of you might have seen this, heard this. A group of scientists working on, on an important project in some office. That's the scene, scenario. One of them walks up to his seniors, his boss's office and he requests him, uh, Sir, uh, I have to leave around 5.30 p.m. today uh, because I have promised my children that I will take them to the exhibition nearby. This request is a little strange. Strange because Normally, when people are engrossed so much in the work, nobody will come forward with such a request and take leave of the office. You see? But uh, for some reason, this particular person was compelled to come and ask for leave. This realization was in the boss's mind. What realization that if this man has walked up to me and asked for this excuse to leave early, there must be something really important. And therefore, this chap said, this person said, all right, uh, you can leave at 5.30. And there it ended and uh, they were working, doing whatever they were doing. It was around uh, 5, 5, 15, 5, 20, this boss, the senior uh, scientist responsible, he was looking at this particular employee who was uh, granted permission to leave early, that he is getting into more and more deeper into his work. He also realized at this pace, this person can never leave at 5.30. <laughs> One, he cannot not leave at 5.30 and two, his children will be waiting at home and uh, they cannot go to the exhibition as promised. Uh, whatever happened, happened and uh, this man uh, Employee finally wound up his work around 8 o'clock or so and that too a sudden realization that both his kids will be waiting at home because uh, he had promised them that he will come at 5.30. Suddenly there was sadness on his face. He was feeling guilty. 
he was feeling guilty on two accounts. One, the small kids expectations and two, his wife, I do not know what she is going to, she is doing to, uh, to settle these children's human cry that they make. So whatever, this man reached home and uh, when he reached home, he found, uh, he, was, he was actually expecting his wife to be uh, reacting very sharply, very uh, what, fighting started with him that why didn't you come shouting and all that. Nothing of that sort happened. She was very cool, calm, probably she gave him a cup of hot coffee. This fellow didn't know what to do. He asked her, what happened here? You are not angry with me? She says, why should I be angry? <laughs> you, I knew you have the pressure of work and you are deputed your manager to come and uh, <laughs> take care of our kids. He has just uh, taken them and he is on his way back. He will be leaving them back home in next 10-15 minutes. The point is this manager, for whatever credit we should give for his forethought, experience, empathy, etc., he took care not just of the project, he also took care of the integrity of the family. Unless as a family unit you are integrated together, you are happy you cannot really be productive in the office. And the world, all the peoples of the world salute this boss, the senior scientist, Dr. Abdul Kalam.